As a design manager at Dyson, my role is to define the product vision and then we develop that to a point where it's pretty much a fully working prototype. Wrong thinking at Dyson is our way of generating inventive products through ideas that seem unlikely or impossible. James's story about how he developed the DC01 cyclone vacuum cleaner was born out of the frustrations of how he was using a bagged vacuum at home and it was clogging and losing the suction. That deep frustration that we all have with products at home is what leads us to want to solve these problems. James discovered the, the cyclone technology from the sawmill and that way of thinking and that way of developing products is moved into our whole culture at Dyson. And we're looking at unapplied engineering that we can then bring in and try it in a different context. When we started designing the layout of the V10 product, we started with a problem that came from insights on Japanese home trials. Japanese customers wanted to lift the cyclone and empty the bin into a bag. So we decided maybe changing the, the bin orientation around so it kind of protruded from the machine might make that easier to seal off bags and push the bin into the waste bin to manage the dust as you're emptying. And we discovered that by changing the bin direction, we could reduce the number of turns that the air has to make going through the product. So that made the machine much more powerful. That's how we develop products. We think about problems, we think about how we can make them better. We call that wrong thinking, and it's responsible for most of our best products.